A dry socket is something that happens after a tooth extraction when your body doesn't heal properly. The blood clot doesn't form. Wait, we want a blood clot? Hi everyone, my name is Whitney and I'm a dental hygienist. Let's talk about dry sockets and why blood clots are actually a good thing after you get your tooth pulled. So like we said, a dry socket is when the extraction site, the opening left in the bone after the tooth is taken out, doesn't heal properly. Normally you would have a blood clot form inside of the socket. This blood clot actually protects the exposed bone and underlying tissues. And then from there, the gums would grow back over it. But if for any reason that blood clot comes loose, falls out, or doesn't form at all after the tooth is Pulled, it creates a painful condition that we call a dry socket. What does a dry socket look like? It's literally an open socket with visibly exposed bone. It doesn't look too good and it often doesn't smell too good either. So how would you know if you have one if you can't see in your own mouth and you don't have someone to smell your mouth for you? The most common dry socket symptoms include pain and discomfort along with a bad taste coming from that part of your mouth. So you will taste that bad smell yourself. Usually any soreness or discomfort after a tooth extraction would go away within a couple of days. But if you have a dry socket, you would experience the opposite. The soreness or discomfort would increase, would get worse a few days after the procedure. So if you notice your extraction site, the area that your tooth was pulled, is getting worse each day instead of better, not usually a good sign. So if you think you have a dry socket, what do you do? Two to three days after an extraction, if you are feeling worse than you were feeling day one, you need to see your dentist. Your dentist will generally flush out the socket and then place a special medication or medicated dressing down into it. This artificial cover provides pain relief because there won't be any outside stimuli or bacteria seeping into that area anymore. From there, your body's immune system can do the rest. You might also have to see your dentist several days later to have the dressing removed, and if there's visible redness and swelling, you might also be given a prescription for an antibiotic. Your dentist will likely also recommend taking an anti-inflammatory medication such as ibuprofen, not necessarily for pain relief, but to actually help reduce the amount of inflammation around your extraction site. So how do we prevent a dry socket? Let's stop this from happening. If you're about to have your tooth pulled, the way to prevent a dry socket is to follow your home care instructions. Simple enough, your dentist will give you directions on what you are and aren't supposed to do after having a tooth pulled. Some common things your dentist will tell you to avoid are things like smoking or vaping. Smoking dries out your mouth, making it more challenging to heal any type of sore, surgery, or infection. If you do use tobacco products, try to take a break for a minimum of two to three days following your oral surgery. Don't drink through a straw. There's a theory that creating a vacuum by sucking through a straw could pull your blood clot out. So best to avoid a straw. Don't plan heavy exercise. If you like weightlifting, cardio, running, any of that type of stuff, take it easy for a few days. If you're overexerting yourself, the blood pressure and increased heart rate can push your clot out from the inside. Again, we don't want that. Don't consume alcohol, carbonated beverages, or eat hard, crunchy foods. There's an increased chance of dry socket symptoms when certain foods and beverages irritate the site of your oral surgery. And don't rinse really hard. You're Dentists will probably tell you that gentle swishing and then letting the water slowly fall out of your mouth is enough for the first few days. If you're swishing hard, <laughs> that's not good. You wanna make sure you're swishing like that, just kinda like move your head. Because if you do this, it can create a suction that could dislodge your clot, so don't do it. Do the head motion instead. In all, dry sockets are preventable in most cases, since they can be avoided by following the post-care instructions. However, they can still happen in approximately two to 5% of tooth removal procedures. But don't stress out about it, just make sure to purposely take steps to avoid them altogether. And those steps are following your dentist's instructions. I hope this video helped you. Please like and subscribe and turn on your notifications if it did. And until next time, I'll see you on Instagram, at Teeth Talker. Peace, love, and tea.